Go ahead. What's going on, everybody? I'm gonna give everybody a second to to get in here, and you know, I just I need to talk to you, so I'm gonna give everybody like 10, 20 seconds, and I'm gonna get to it. Charlie, get down. Go over there. One second, y'all. One second. All right, so there's some things that I just want to say today. I think that they're very important and I say, um, I know that there's been a lot of speculation about the things that I've been going through and how I've been dealing with them and the insensitivities of just me not like talking when y'all wanted me to talk and saying certain things. And I just felt like I owed my fans, I owed it to my fans and supporters of people who when they look at me and they look at me as a role model, I owe it to those people as a person to just like give them some sort of transparency and some sort of accountability of certain things. I feel like, um, you know, for those who don't know, for the last three months of my life, I've been in this place where, you know, I've been bashed. I've been cut through just people every single day coming at me, coming at me, coming at me. And it's crazy because the whole thing about it is just like, when this whole uh, debacle, or whatever you call it, um, came about, the whole time it's like, she knows what happened, I know what happened, and we know that what you're saying and what the alleged things and the alleged accusations of my name is are not true. It's falsified information, it's false information, and it's not accurate information. I don't ever wanna come off like, I'm here to bash this girl, or I'm here to talk down about this girl, or ever be at a place where like I'm, I'm disrespecting her because to me, as a person, she's still my friend. No matter what, even if she doesn't look at me like that, I look at her like she's still my friend. And in the times that we were together or around each other, we've had nothing but joyous moments and good moments. So I, I'm not gonna sit here and bash her, but at the same time, it's, it comes to a certain standpoint of me as a person where it's like, yo, do y'all want me to just sit here and just allow my name to be assassinated, my character to be assassinated, everything that I worked for to get here to just be assassinated for something that I did not do? something that the events that are being said are, are not even accurate and accurately being portrayed to everybody, the narrative that's being created or being created to make me come off like I'm some monster is, is now what I'm having to live through for three months straight of just people just coming and coming and coming and coming and coming. And it's like, yo, I'm not here to beg no sympathy from nobody. I've never been one of those people. I'm not a person that's sitting here like, yo, uh, 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 everybody feels sorry for me. Like, nah. Because at the end of the day, if I did what they're saying I did, then by all means, I would say the same exact thing about me. I say that nigga's a bitch ass nigga. He doesn't respect females. He's a fuck boy. And that nigga deserves no respect, period. I've never been a person that all of a sudden, you know, it's, it's, it's everybody all of a sudden like, yo, he, he's this guy who uh, uh, doesn't protect black women. And he's this guy who... But it's like, he, he's this guy who doesn't care about black women. That's what the narrative is now switched into and certain things like that. And it's like, hold on, I need y'all to really back this up. When have I not showed out for black women? Every single one of my videos, the lead girl is black. From say it to love to, to now, like when, when have I not showed love to black women? I made, I made five chicks tapes about about black love, about a black relationship, about a ghetto relationship at that. Like, you feel me? Like, when did I become this person? Like, my favorite song on the last Chicks tape that I put out was Beauty in the Benz. And that was a record that, with Snoop Dogg, that I loved. And instead of me even being inside of the video, like, like really take me in for a second. Instead of me even being in the video, and this is before all this, instead of me being, being in the video, I made the video all about the empowerment of black women. There's nothing but different types of black women in the video, all shapes, sizes, colors, um, um, ages, that just shows the, the, the love in, in, in what I'm doing. And it's like all of a sudden, a narrative comes out with no factual evidence, and all of a sudden, I'm the bad guy. And it's like, yo, I, I, I get it, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I, I, I understand, like, and I support the whole movement of, of protecting black women, but I want to speak on something. and. Sometimes, you know, I know I'm not always in the right place to speak on things, but this is something that I went through and so I feel like I'm able to speak on it. I am all for protecting black women. That is something that is the most 
one of the most important things that needs to be taken serious and awareness needs to be brought to. And regardless, if this debacle, regardless of what you guys think happened, if this situation caused you guys to pay more attention and more awareness to protecting black women, then I'm fine that I had to be dragged through the dirt for that. But I want y'all to understand something. It's a problem when it becomes that black, uh, protecting black women doesn't mean to protect blacks. From the beginning of time, when you really think about how this works, like from the beginning of time, we've been taught to be with our own heritage. And, and from the beginning of time, we've been taught to be with our own heritage. White man and white woman, white girl and white man. I mean, Spanish man, Spanish woman, Indian man, Indian woman. When you guys start making it like a put black men down and protect the black women, I'm not saying you guys, I don't mean to make it like, oh, you're attacking. But when we as a whole make it protecting black women means putting black, putting down black men, then it comes to a point where it's like, okay, well, who's going to protect black women? Who is supposed to be protecting black women? It has to be black men. It's not the white man. It's not the Spanish man. It's not the man who... It's, it's not none of those. It's not the Chinese man. It's not none of those men. It's, it, it is who is who is it's black men. It's black men. And I'm not saying that black men aren't the people who in, at, in, in times who aren't the people who uh, inflict certain issues and, and mental issues and certain things that girls go through. Like black men are, are, are very much the cause of a lot of things that 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 women go through because of. At the end of the day, like the way we were raised, certain standpoints, maybe we didn't have a parent around, some things, some, some, some things were just not here to, whatever the case is. But at the end of the day, it's like you got to remember at the standpoint, if, if, if the man is supposed to be, and I say this loosely because I don't want anybody to take this out of context. If the man is supposed to be the, the head and a woman is supposed to be the neck, y'all got to think about this. In order for the head to move, in order for the head to move left, right, whatever it is doing, it needs the guidance of the neck. It needs the guidance of the woman. It, in order for me to smell and use my five senses on my face, for me to lean in or whatever the case is, I still need to, I still need to use the neck. I still need to be guided by a woman. So regardless, it's like, I don't feel like I should be torn down. If anything, before y'all know the story, like learn the story first, learn the factual parts of the story first, and then come at me and be like, yo, you need to fix this and fix that if that's what you feel like I did. But instead I'm being torn down for a narrative that's like, now I'm the poster boy for, I don't like black women. But anyways, let's get into this. I want to get into this because it's very important for me to just say this. I'm not here to bash this woman. I'm not here to come down on this woman. I'm not here to disrespect her or throw her under the bus. But it comes to a certain standpoint where I just can't let my character be assassinated for things that are not even really true. Like, and, and for falsified narratives and information. Let's start this off. When... The original, original uh, a report came out and it was a TMZ report about this, that and the third. And there was gunshots in Kylie Jenner's house and Tory Lanez goes to jail. They gave you all, all the facts of the juice of Tory Lanez going to jail and this, that and the third and Megan getting arrested and da, 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 da. Two days after that, I get a call from Rock Nation that says, yo, we heard you're going to make a statement about what happened. And it'd be in your best interest if you don't make that statement. So I'm like, oh, okay. I don't understand what the issue of me telling my fans, like, yo, look, it's not that serious of a deal. I went to jail for whatever. It's, it's like, I don't get, I didn't get for that two days why that was an is, uh, or issue. Two days later, TMZ report come out. TMZ reports and have the surveillance now. Now they see the video of the arrest. You see Megan, you see me, and you see it's all sprawled out on the ground in, in bathing suits and, and blah, blah, blah. And everything I'm saying is, is, Public record, you can go back and look at this shit, you can go back and, and see it, like, you feel me? So they say, oh, okay, you know, um, the, the, you see her out of the car, she's getting out of the car, she's hopping, it looks bad, bro, and I'm not gonna lie, like, I felt bad watching it because it made her look bad, and it didn't make her look good, it didn't make any of us look good, and I didn't want that for her, I don't see that for anybody. So all of a sudden, when we get arrested, or when it looks like we all got arrested, the memes start. Now I want to really bring you guys in for a second so you can understand something. And I really just want you to take this in. Like, She is a person I spent enough time with her to observe and understand something about her. Where it's like, she's going through a lot. She goes through a lot. She deals with a lot on her day-to-day -day basis. And because of that, she's not used to, you know, 
and not even just because of that, but just because of the fact that she's been praised so much. We've always looked at her as like, yo, that's that's hip hop sweetheart. Like she's she's nice, she's talented, whatever the case is, cool. And because of that, like we've 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 never seen a moment where the memes have come at her, where the memes are like, yo, nigga, let's laugh at your pain. Ah ha 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 ha. She's never had to deal with that because she's always been praised. So everything that's been happening has been a reaction off of what's been going on. So. It gets down to this point now where it's like, now the, 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 the reports are starting to say, okay, well, everyone's pointing to different things. No one really knows what's happened, but nobody has ever said she got shot. Nobody has ever said she got shot. Not TMZ, not the police report at this point. Nothing is saying that she got shot. Soon as she sees herself on video with the bikini and the things like that, and it looks bad, she then comes out and says, yo, the narrative of me getting cut by glass, it's just not true. She doesn't point at nobody or anybody or say anything or anything like that. She just says the narrative that whatever came out of me being cut by glass is not true. I was shot in my feet with the intention to harm me and put uh, harm and danger upon me. Right. So, OK, cool. Like all of a sudden, the affiliates of her circle start pointing like little subliminal fingers, like count your days and like I won't be around and he's shooting at feet and like little funny things that they start doing. And I'm kind of like, damn, hold on, where are y'all about to take this? Because y'all told me not to make a statement. So I'm, under, I'm trying to figure out where y'all, where y'all taking me. To, I, don't, I don't get it. So then the, uh, at, at this point, she goes, she goes live because people are not really understanding the story or whatever cases. She waits. She doesn't go on, you know, a time when it's just a regular time. For y'all don't, who don't understand, it was one of those things where me and her knew what was going on. But y'all didn't know what was going on. She went live on my birthday. With all, and then she says, yo, you know, um, and the thing about the whole jury thing is, is like, she, my bad. She knew that it wasn't a situation where, um, like, she knew she had to do certain sympathetic things, I, I guess, to push the narrative. And I don't know who told her to do certain things like that. And I'm not the one who's trying to, like, ever point the finger at anybody. But when it really comes down to it, it's like. You went on live on your birthday and then you said on my birthday and then you said I got shot in my foot and it didn't hit no bones or tendons. So everybody's looking at this and again, the internet is a sick place. This is a place where people don't give a fuck about you. They they do what they do, they antagonize and they do what they do. Um you go in and you see you get shot in your foot, no bones or tendons. The internet goes into an uprage because some people are like, hold on. How you not get shot? How you get shot in your foot and it don't hit no bones or tendons? Like Whoever is watching this, like, if you need to go on Google and look at a foot anatomy of bones and skeletons and tendons, you realize there's like 30 bones in your feet and like 100 tendons, some crazy number like that, right? So she now gets to this place where the people are like, hold on, and, and again, the internet is sick. The internet starts coming at her and saying, yo, show your feet, because we're seeing you at DJ Khaled's house and you're on your tippy toes, and then we're seeing that you're, uh, you know, that you're, 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 you're here and here, and they're antagonizing her. They're, they're, they're brutally coming for her and not giving her, I guess, what it is that she needed. But it gets to this point where now um, she posts a picture of a foot. And she posts this picture of a foot, there's no exit wound. There's, 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 there's a lot of, of inconsistencies in the story. And she says under the post, you see, I got shot in the back of my foot because when I was walking away from the car, she says I was, she puts this in capital letters. She says, I was walking away from the car and I got shot in the back of my foot. She doesn't ever show the other foot that she claims she got shot in. And I'm not trying to, again, I hate that this is coming off like I'm trying to come for her and whatever cases, but this is what I'm having to endure and watch when I'm knowing certain facts. So it gets to, um, you know, it gets to this place where I'm just like, bro, like, this is not me. And I, I don't deserve this. Like, I don't to be I don't deserve to have to go through this. Like, I never have been somebody who's had domestic cases. I've never hit no woman. I've never had abusive cases with no woman. You can't pull those type of facts up on me. I don't have those. So it's like I just didn't understand why I'm going through this. So now it gets to this point where she posts this picture of her foot and everyone's seeing certain things and everyone's, um, you know, saying certain things about um, her foot. And some people think it's real. Some people don't think it's real. And it gets to this place where some people are just not believing. So she posted a picture. There's no bullet tray 
where they, where are they taking out the bullets for the for the for the pan? Like if this is what's going on. Like where are they taking out the bullets for the pan? I don't understand. Like where's the surgical? You're not in a surgical room. And anybody who knows, I mean, this is like it clearly had to be the first day that you've taken this picture. So if this is the first day that you've taken this picture, it's like where's the, where's where's all the evidence? Where why are you not in a surgical room? First of all, you're not even allowed to take pictures in a surgical procedure. That is against the law. It doesn't matter if you're famous or not. So. It gets to this point now where it's like, you know, um, she says, I was shot from behind. And, you know, blah, 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 this, that, and the third, and I was walking away. And she puts that, and then she deletes the post after. But that contradicts with the first post. Because you said somebody came out to hit you with malicious harm and danger, to put you in harm and all this danger and all this stuff. How can you identify who's shooting at you if you're facing the other way? How can you I, I even identify criminal or malicious intent if you're not seeing what's going on behind you? That doesn't even make sense. And so it's like, I'm looking at this and I'm just like, yo, this, this, this is not right. Like, and I, 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 I do see when people are getting at her and there's times when I'm like, damn, like, do I help her or do I say, speak up and say, yo, don't talk about her, whatever the case is. Or, but if I do that, then it's like, I'm coming off like I'm guilty. And then if I say something about uh, having remorse, like I would like to, or saying something about certain things, it's like, I come off like I'm guilty of something that I didn't do. So I had to be quiet on certain places. Now, I need y'all to really take this in and, and understand like how this works at this point when all this starts happening la times okay this is a this is this is put this is put in public information la times puts out an article and in the article they say um you know this is the initial uh report two sources close to the investigation said that she had she got cut by glass and she said that she got cut by glass so then it's like People see that, okay, hold on, she's saying, they're saying on the initial police report with Officer Santiago, whatever his name is, you can go look this up. This is on LA Times. That's when it gets to this point where it says, okay, yo, um, um, there's, they reported no gunfire wound in her foot. They just reported a woman with a foot injury. So, so you got to understand, like, this is what's in their initial police report. Fuck all the Instagram, fuck the other shit. This is just what's in the police report. So you got to understand, like, I'm getting to a point where I'm like, wow, that's I'm looking at this and I'm like, wow, like at the end of the day, like maybe some people might see this. Maybe some people might not. It gets to academics. It gets to um, it gets to um, it gets to um, academics. It gets to Hollywood Unlocked. It gets to certain certain places. Right. And she comes out with this tweet that says. Keep talking and I'm going to stop sparing you. It's like my love. I have not been on the internet for three months. I have not been on the internet for three months. And then 30 minutes later, she just goes on live. And it's like, it's like me telling you, yo, keep talking, my nigga, and I'm going to slap you. And then I just slap you. It's like, you didn't do anything for me to slap you. I just slapped you. So it's like, who was talking to? Who are you saying to keep talking to? I don't understand. Whatever. It gets past this point. It gets past this point. And it gets to a place where now she says, I'm going to stop sparing you, whatever the case is. She gets on live. Now... Because it got on academics that there was no gunfire wound on the initial report. Everyone starts going to her page. Again, she starts reacting to certain things. Now, I'm going to say one thing. I'm not getting mad at her or whatever it is because I understand that she is dealing with a lot. Like, when it comes down to you got to understand. She lost both of her parents, and I do sympathize with that. I lost my mother. And when I, when I lost my mother, I realized one thing. When you lose a parent... You could be highly susceptible to people around you that are that are giving you parental guidance or things that fa feel like parental guidance to believe in that it is parental guidance and you go with it. That's happened to me. I've, I've been at that place where I've listened to a lot of people that led me down the wrong road because it felt like parental guidance that I should have been getting from my mother or my father that at that time wasn't around or whatever the case is. So so now it gets to this point now, whatever the case is, boom, she 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 comes out and she goes, listen, you guys and you know all this extra shit this nigga keep talking about me and i'm in the back. i'm i'm over here watching this like yo what did i say i didn't say nothing i said nothing to you but it's nothing this nigga keep talking about me bro and so you know what now we just going to do it this nigga tory shot me bro this nigga shot me he shot me she gets into it she gets into it she gets into it she gets into it this nigga shot me she starts breaking down the story and I want y'all to pay close attention to how she breaks down this story. Okay? Really pay close attention. 
She breaks down the story and she says, yo, I'm arguing. I'm in the car. I'm arguing with this nigga. I'm tired of arguing with this nigga. We get into a heated argument. I'm tired of arguing with this nigga. I get out the car. This nigga get out the car, out the car, and he starts shooting me. For no reason, he starts shooting me. So boom, then the cops pull us over and da 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 da. Hold on, let's take, let's take the first facts back for what she just said. So you mean to tell me that you're in a car with a person and this person is arguing with you. This person has gotten you to a place of like, yo, I don't even wanna be around you. Like I'm above this, I'm out of here. You get out of the car because the heated argument is so heated. And then this person gets out and shoots you in both of your feet and you jump back in the car? Why, why would you jump back in the car with a dangerous man who just did a dangerous crime to you, who did this criminal intent to you and all this, all this, wh why? Why are you, why would you jump back in the car? Well, yo, then the police pull us over and I see, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm, we're, we're all black in the car, there's a gun in the car, so I don't even wanna, I don't even wanna be like, you know what I'm saying? I don't want nobody to get in more trouble and I'm trying to protect this man. I'm trying to protect this man because at the end of the day, it's niggas getting shot out here. She then throws the black card at me. I'm trying to protect this black man. My love, nobody ever reported that you got shot but you. So why are you, how were you trying to protect me? At what point were you trying to protect me? At what point? Like, you know I got a child. You know that these type of situations, even an accusation, is something that I can't even be playing with. I don't even play with my life like that. So why would that, like, I, that to me just doesn't make sense. Okay, cool. Yo, I lied to the cops, I lied to the doctors. Let me tell you why they saying there's glass in my feet though. Because I lied to the cops, I lied to the doctors, I lied to this, that, and the third. Ladies and gentlemen, I need us to really understand what she's saying here. You mean to tell me that these medical doctors that are in a ambulance that work on on-site injuries 24-7, for, for all day, they have to know every type of on-site injury, the specifications on the type of on-site injuries, so they, can, so they can treat it right. You mean to tell me you lied to these people and they just treated you for glass when you had a bullet in you? If that's what you're saying, okay, I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. Let's just say they were dumb. You mean to tell me that the cops who were called for a gunshot in a Suburban or whatever the car was, found that same Suburban and found a gun in it, see you leaking and didn't check you for bullet wounds? I'll give you the benefit of doubt and say they were dumb. You then further said, yo, I'm at a cop mouth like a motherfucker smoking on this. <laughs> you then say, you then say, oh, well, I was trying to protect this black man, so I never said nothing. I was, I didn't want them to shoot me. I didn't want them to kill me. Okay, but when me and Kelsey and Quan were over there being questioned, you were in a stretcher. No one is going to shoot you in a stretcher. You had plenty of time to tell the cops that you were in danger. You had plenty of time. I'm not protecting somebody who just heinously shot me after a conversation that we just had. I'm not, my mind is not on protecting you. I'm bleeding from my feet. I'm thinking about protecting my own life and I'm in danger. Why would you not say that with two feet bleeding from two bullet holes what, from what you're saying? I, I don't understand that. And then there's this whole narrative of, you know, like, I didn't want to, I didn't want to put this black man on a, on, on, you know, I didn't want to, I didn't want to, I didn't want to get him in trouble. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm protecting this man and he keeps talking. And so now, you know, he keeps getting his, his media team to start doing certain things to make me look incredible and to smear me and to make him look good and to make it look like I'm not, hold on, ladies and gentlemen, have I been around in the last three months? Saying anything? Have you seen in the last three months one article that made me look good during this? One? Have you seen it? You haven't seen it nowhere. Because at the end of the day, my PR team is not out here playing with my jeopardy of my life and freedom. Y'all are doing this for the internet. This is my life. I'm the only person with the case. So at the end of the day, when you sit here, y'all, 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 like, I'm not going to jeopardize my son. Even if I know, regardless of what I know, it will come to light and the, it, the truth will come to light. And I have no issue with that. I have no issue with that. But I need y'all to understand, like, I'm a human being, bro. Like, this shit hurts, bro. Seeing my friends, people that I had on quarantine radio be people that were just like, 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 my real, like, at least people I thought were my friends. Like, people I thought were, like, cool people. Like, 
You know what I'm saying? And it's like, yo, everybody just shunned me. I showed everybody love at the top of the year. Everybody was on quarantine radio. He he ha ha ha. And the second y'all have an accusation, not even evidence, niggas just come bash me. I'm somebody who just I don't get a say. Then I understand. Sometimes the way I move is unconventional, you know. And I I came to a place where I was dealing with so much uh, just talk and heat and just people coming at me that I made music because I was like, this is how I can speak through what I gotta do. This is how I can. We get so mad about artists making songs about the same thing: money, chains, and cars. So when a nigga comes out and says his true passion, puts his true heart, his emotions, his, his, the, the pain that he's dealing with with his baby mother, his, his child, when a nigga goes and does that and pours his emotion into the tape, oh what, he wrong? I'm wrong, I get shunned off. They took me off of every single playlist. They took me off of every playlist. They didn't want my story to come out. They didn't allow my story to come out because it, it came off insensitive. I came off insensitive to people. Now, now, now I wanna speak on this. I don't ever want anybody to ever think that I've been insensitive to Breonna Taylor. I marched nine days straight in Miami for her and George Floyd. I would never, bro, I've mourned this woman as well. And everyone said, listen, we're mourning a black woman today and you dropped an album? How dare the disrespect? Guys, let's bring this back. That day that I dropped that album, my mom, that was her birthday. And that was also the day she died. So I was also mourning a black woman, my mother. That meant a lot to me. My name is Daystar. I'm her youngest son. That meant a lot to me. And all I was doing was giving a truthful album about what I'm going through. And I thought that people were going to be able to hear it and feel me. But they didn't do that. And I don't expect, you know, everyone to just jump into my side because at the end of the day, I didn't deserve that for the way that I handled this. There's been insensitive things that I've done and I apologize for as far as me not talking to y'all, addressing y'all, coming to y'all sooner and saying, yo, bro, I ain't do this, my nigga. But y'all gotta understand the reason why I wasn't able to do that. Once they made this an actual thing, I immediately called the lawyer and was just like, yo, uh, uh, what can I do here? Because there's times I was like, I'm gonna just say the whole story right now. They need to know. No, you're not allowed to talk. I will handle that for you in the court of law. So at that point, it gets to a standpoint where it's like, you know, my bad, my, I'm, my shit drives them all. But look, it gets to a point where it's like, I just, I'm sorry that right now, like this is getting me a little riled up. It's just like, I'm a human being, bro. Like I feel what you niggas feel. I go through the things that y'all go through, bro. Anybody on this comment list, anybody watching this right now, if you have ever been at a place where somebody has for the day just been like, yo, fuck you, or somebody just hit you with a bad comment and niggas are going at you, or any celebrities that have been at a place where niggas are just coming at you, imagine just going through that for three months straight, just niggas, just, and you know that you're a talkative nigga that will say, nigga, nah, but you have your hands tied behind your You can't put anything else in jeopardy because it's not about Instagram at that point. It's about the well-being of my family and the mother of my child and my child. And at that point, I had to make a decision of whether or not this was more important or Instagram likes and understanding of this or whatever case was more important. Like, I've never been a person that's never, uh, or I've never been a person that's uh, uh, not expressed how he feels. There's things that I feel today. And I want y'all to understand something. Through every single thing that I'm going through, through every, the judge with, 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 uh, or not the judge, the, 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 the accusations and the charges of 22 years and everything. I keep a smile on my face. Why? Because I know what I know. I know what I know. And at the end of the day, I'm not afraid of certain things because I gotta be strong for the people around me, dog. I have to be. Because they can't see me weak right now. They, they can't see that. I can't allow, my fans can't see me weak right now. I can't allow them to do that. And I'm not a weak person. I pray to God this, this whole experience has got me so much closer to God and made me understand certain things about certain people and how they gonna operate when something happens. And it made me realize this is how people operate and it's cool. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, th this is another thing I wanna, I wanna address on and I don't care who looks at me, how they look at me. Like, my point of this is not to make y'all start bashing her. It's not to make y'all start bashing her. When she's bashed, I don't feel good. It doesn't make me feel good. It makes me feel like, damn, bro, like this whole situation in itself is causing this girl mental trauma, bro. That's still somebody I care about. I do not want to see her like that, bro, ever. I don't want to see her like that, bro. It is what it is. And if nobody looks at that, how they look at it, bro, it is what it is, dog.
But 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 I never want to see her her weakened or her put down or her whatever kids because then it goes against exactly what I'm talking about. How am I going to advocate for protecting black women if I'm if I'm doing something to bash her and bring her down? All I'm trying to let y'all know and understand here is it's the facts. It's the facts of what y'all got to understand. I can't allow at some point I just like I was waiting for my court date so I can say something. And when I finally said it or when I, when the court date finally came, I finally am here and I'm being able to say what I have to say. And so if I'm coming off in any kind of way, that's not the way that you want. I apologize, but I had to get this off my chest. And so. It just is what it is. The truth will come to the light in the court of law. If y'all don't believe me, you don't believe me. It is what it is. If you do, you do. But I really just send prayers and love to her camp. I send prayers and love to the people around me. And I don't want us to be beefing. I don't want y'all to think that they're, this is a, oh, a Meg versus Tory thing. I'm not, I'm not beefing with her. I'm not beefing with nobody. I don't have no, like, I'm chilling, bro. Like, with all due respect, I'm chilling. I want to get back to myself. I'm not going to stop. When y'all see me at the club... And I'm chilling, I'm partying. When y'all see me, if I come back with quarantine radio around Halloween, that's because I want to have fun. I want to still be the person I am. I want to still spread light. And the last thing I want to say before I get out of here, and it's very important to me, and I didn't say it at the starting because, you know, it would have been whatever, but I want to say it now. The whole situation with Nigeria and the things that's going on with Nigeria right now are crazy. I'm sending... A hundred prayers over there, and I want to raise awareness for all of my celebrity fans to understand what what what, what that the whole SARS movement and all that stuff is going on. They got people that are in the government that are just like like just randomly because they're they're governed by the government can randomly just go out on the streets and just do shit to people, rob people, punch up your kid, all kinds of wild stuff. And this is going on right now in Nigeria. And I feel like it's something that I didn't want to be insensitive to because at the end of the day, like I'm on live right now with 200 and or 200,000 people. You know what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, like I'm not going to be insensitive to the fact that somebody else is going through something, regardless of me going through what I'm going through. Everybody, please bring some awareness to SARS. Please bring some awareness to the things that are going on in Nigeria. And and let's help to let's do whatever we can do to to to, to help build Nigeria and bring our people back because that's the motherland. That's where we all come from. In some sort of way in the bloodline and the ancestry, that's where we all come from. I just wanted to get that off my chest. I'm going to let you